Hey guys, I'm Sudhindra and you're watching Tech Platter. And today I'm going to talk about Chinese apps. Not just limiting to the 53 applications that our intelligence has warned us about this week. These apps not just collect our personal data and this data can be used against us during the crisis time like war. But before we start, if this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified whenever I post an awesome tech video. Friends, it is very important for all of us to watch this video till the end and share this with your family and friends as I'll be telling how our personal data can be used against us and our country. We saw various sources calling these Chinese apps viruses and it is very simple. Virus in your phone collects your data and misuses it. Now tell me how these apps which are collecting your data are different from the viruses. The apps that I'm going to display on the screen now are, were listed by our intelligence as harmful applications. These apps collect your personal information and share it with their servers which are located in, you guessed it correct, China. Pause the video here and take a screenshot of these apps. I have also given these apps list in the description below. As you see some of the most famous apps like TikTok, Zoom which are widely used apps by we Indians are there in the list. Leave a comment below and let me know what all apps in the list are used by you in your phone. Friends let me remind you these apps were not banned by the government but just listed as harmful applications. In general, whenever you install an application, by default it will ask for some of the permissions to use the camera, microphone, location, contacts, gallery and some apps even ask for SMS permission. When you see collectively, you will understand how much of your personal data is being collected without your knowledge. Now the problem with the Chinese apps is Chinese government has access to all the data that is collected by Chinese companies and there is no way these companies can reject the government's request. This is the law there especially if you have any family or friends in the army, critical government sectors or in financial sectors, China can use collect this, uh, this data from these apps and they have access and they have access to your phone book and SMS too. These apps can even read your phone records, conversations with some minor software updates and you will not even know whether they are doing it or not using which the location of our soldiers and their special operations can be stolen and can be used against our own uh, army. Let me take another step. There were instances in the past when some of these Chinese, Chinese apps automatically enabled cameras and microphones and started listening to the conversations around them and we are the only responsible for this as we are giving permissions to these apps without knowing. It is like it is like this right you welcome a stranger inside your house and when they come they ask you where you keep your cash and jewelry at the home and they will request for access of your lockers and you happily share the information and yes we are doing it. Many of these Chinese applications have access to your SMSs and we receive our banking transaction details, one time passwords through our SMSs only. They have access to our app, uh, our gallery where our personal photos are shared. Don't you think it is dangerous for our, our own safety and security? Remember data is the most important thing on this planet in this digital era and whoever has this data in their hand is the king and we ourselves are making China the king knowingly or unknowingly. Coming to the hardware, unfortunately India still is not in a position where all the parts are manufactured here and we don't have a strong Indian electronic manufacturer yet. I hope for the day comes pretty soon and once it comes I will be the happiest and will be the one of the first few to buy one and get a review for you. I really wish for the day to come soon. For now, I sincerely request all of us to uninstall these 53 applications first as the nation's security is of the highest priority and slowly move away from other Chinese applications. Apple uh, App Store and Google Play Store have plenty of alternatives these, uh, to these uh, 53 applications and if your phone is restricting us uh, for, to, from uninstalling any of the applications like Xiaomi's or Realme's uh, built-in applications, they won't allow you to uninstall. If, in that case, go to settings and revoke all the access that you have given to uh, these apps. If you want to know how to revoke the access, please leave a comment below and I will make a dedicated video for that. If you are finding this video helpful and informative, please hit the like button and it will help the channel grow. Leave a comment below uh, which of these uh, apps are there in your phone and which of these apps you are going to uninstall after watching this video. 
I personally uninstall Zoom from my phone. We may not be at the border and fight for our nation directly, but we should not be one of those who shoot our own army from the back. This is your friend Sudindra signing off. See you in the next video. Jai Hind.